In April of 2018, the Substance Prevention Alliance of Needham held a forum to educate residents on the dangers of vaping, specifically the dangers to kids in Needham. One year later, another event was held, this time focusing on one brand of vaping, whose growth popularity is raising a lot of concerns. We want to warn you that there are some graphic images on the effects of juuling in this story. Here's Mike Levin with more on the program called Juuling in Schooling. New look of nicotine addiction, Juul. It's a growing problem across the country, Juuling. And it's a problem for one big reason. So one Juul pod is the equivalent of an entire pack of cigarettes. Juuling is a kind of electronic cigarette. It has a majority market share now. Um, it's very popular in teenagers. Uh, over 20% of high schoolers are current users of electronic cigarettes, and Juul is the dominant market leader. Kids can just vape and vape and vape, take hit after hit, and they'll get very high levels of nicotine, which is not safe for the developing brain either. This here is what the pod is. So that there is just this tiny little thing, and that equals an entire pack of cigarettes. The program, called Juuling in Schooling, is the second event hosted by the Substance Prevention Alliance of Needham aimed at vaping education. The first, called Vaping Explained, was held a year ago and laid the foundation for this year's event. It was really new to us then, um, and we've just heard a lot of feedback about how parents and community members really um, want to know more about vaping because it is still so new. Dr. Jonathan Winnikoff from the Mass General delivered the presentation, one that featured some disturbing images of the effects of juuling. This is not a safe product. Um, this has a lot of danger. Um, one of them is uh, sports performance and asthma. You have increased risk of uh, carcinogens deep into the lung. And Juul in particular has a very high nicotine content. In addition to the presentation, Dr. Winnikoff also took questions from the audience as many residents wanted to further their education about juuling and vaping in general. As a father and a parent of three kids in this community, um, temptations to go along with uh, what your peer group is doing, uh, temptations to find ways to manage big, strong feelings is another reason why I wanted to get involved because I want to help my kids as much as possible find healthy ways to manage those feelings. Even after the event was over and the night's discussion ended, learning about juuling is a continuing process. We have resources on our website, which is www.spanspanneedham.org. There's always resources there, and there's my contact information on there. Um, you can always email me at c-d-e-l-a-n-o at needhamma.gov, and I can connect you with any resources, uh, any questions you might have, uh, and you can come to us at any time at the Division of Public Health. The full Juuling and Schooling presentation and Q&A can be seen on the Needham Channel beginning Thursday, April 11th at 8 on our community and HD channels. For the Needham Channel News, this is Mike Levin.